So let's start by just looking at the first sentence that I've already translated. Uh, and this was from the very first video. So in a hole in the ground, there lived a hobbit. And I translated it as Nehi lotum svekevna lo reader hobi shupu ki habju. So Nehi is the uh, in preposition, for lack of a better word, but it's the modal tag. Lo uh, tumsve kevna, so tumsve, um, if we look at the dictionary here, tumsve is the ground. Uh, kevna is a hole, so this is a ground type hole, in other words, a, a hole in the ground. Uh, and nehi means in. Uh, so, lo reader hobi is a hobbit. Um, shu separates uh, the sumpti from the uh, selbri. Uh, within the selbri we have pu, which is the past tense, ki, which makes it sticky, and khabju, which just means x1 dwells in x2. Um, and I've chosen not to use the x2 position because then that would mean that lorider hobi would have to come before the, the, uh, the, the dwelling itself, and I wanted to put the dwelling in uh, in before that to sort of match the way the English has that. Um, so that's basically what I did. Um, so the next sentence basically says, not a nasty, dirty, wet hole filled with the ends of worms and an oozy smell, etc., etc. So what I thought I would do is, I don't know, um, I don't know if this is even going to work, but I will try to make some like really simple English sentences out of this. Um, so, for example, you know, I could imagine that really the first thing that you're saying is the hole was not nasty, <laughs> right? I mean, that's, that's pretty straightforward. Um, and then you can go on and say the hole was not dirty, the hole was not wet, the hole was not filled with the ends of worms. Um, so let's just go with that and, and see where it leads. So uh, the hole, of course, we know is going to be Lekkevna. Um, le because you know we you know what I'm talking about when I say hole it's it's the previous mention of hole right over here um, now was not so uh, shu na and then we need some word for nasty na being the uh, negator uh, so if I look in the dictionary for nasty what have we got we've got nothing we have absolutely nothing. So uh, I would probably need to look for some synonyms for nasty. So let's just see um, synonym nasty. Um, so what do we got? Highly unpleasant, physically nauseating. Um, what, have, what else have we got? Um, well, it's not a person, physically or mentally damaging, no. So really we want something like, I guess, unpleasant. Is there an unpleasant? There is. Well, unpleasant isn't creepy, that's not really it, but I guess, I guess this works, tolpuha. Um, an event seems unpleasant, and we don't really have an event. We have just basically a noun. Um, so that's not really great. Um, what about pleasant? Pleasantness? No. Just pleasant. Uh, an event seems pleasant. Well, how about Melby? Melby, maybe. Um, so rather than just go through some of these things, let's let's look at one of the words that I've looked up before. So repugnant. Yeah. See, that's really what we want. Repugnant. Um, maybe there's a different synonym dictionary that I can look at, like uh, thesaurus. Uh, why would I? Okay, synonym for uh, nasty. Um, yeah, so there's a whole bunch of these. Uh, repugnant is in there, so 
Um, repellent, I guess, is another one. But, I mean, we've got a perfectly good word here for repugnant. So X1 is repugnant. repugnant so rigni. So it's not repugnant. Right? So not rigni. And that's pretty much that. Lekevna shuna rigni. The hole was not nasty. And then we can say, you know, the hole was not dirty. So let's see dirty. Dirty. Oh, great. So the only thing we have in the dictionary that has the word dirty in it <laughs> has to do with dirty laundry. Uh, let's see. There's... So this is composed of uh, na and jinsa. So... Um, Jinsa means clean. So, um, lekevna, shuna, and then, well, clean. So there is a there is a word that there is a shmavo that you can use to indicate the direct polar opposite of something, uh, and we want the direct polar opposite of jinsa. Um, polar opposite, and that's tohe. So if I can say na tohe jinsa, so the polar opposite of jinsa, clean, would be dirty, and it's not dirty. So I guess that's good enough. Let's stick a sentence separator in there. Um, and let's say the hole is not wet. The hole was not wet. So let's go see what wet is. Okay, shilmo works for me. Kevna shuna. Uh, what was it again? <laughs> uh, shilmo. Shilmo. All right. So, I mean, that's good enough, you know, if you're speaking like a four-year-old. Um, maybe we should try to combine this. So, um, first of all, one nice thing that I kind of, one nice feature that I kind of like about Lojban is the ability to refer to previous uh, sumti based on their first letter. Um, so if I wanted to refer to Kevna, as long as there was no other uh, sumti starting with K, I can just replace this with the letteral K. K is the letteral K. It, it's actually the variable K. Um, and when you just use it as a sumti, it basically means the previous sumti that started with K. So. In other words, it's just it, um, but the it refers to a specific thing that started with K. So we can just replace that here. That does kind of shorten things a little bit. K. So K is the same as letum svekevna. Um, so K shuna rigni, i K shuna tohe jinsa, i K shuna shilmo. Um, but Again, that's still a lot of repetition. So what we really want is to combine this. And in video five, I talked about connectives. Um, so what are we saying here? It was not a nasty, dirty, wet hole. Are we saying it was not nasty, or it was not dirty, or it was not wet, or possibly some combination of all of them? Or are we saying it was not nasty, and it was not dirty, and it was not wet? Um, what we're certainly not saying is not it was nasty and dirty and wet because it was actually none of those things. So I think maybe, uh, let's just try this. Eh? Oh wait, no, we can't use that because this is actually the breedy. So we need um, the connector for breedy tails, which is gihe. So this is where you want to have and gihe. And then na tohe jinsa gi he na shilmo. Okay, so it, I think what this is saying is that the hole was not nasty and it was not dirty 
and it was not wet. Um, na applies to, I think, let's, let's go to the crash course in Lajban, uh, and let's look up na, or actually, let's first go to the um, sort of dictionary that is in there, um, and look up na, just to see the usage here. Because I do want to get it correct. And I'm not going to get it correct because I am not an expert in Lajban. So let's see. Nay, ne, ne, nansha, nai, na. Preposition of truth. It is, it is not true that. Uh, or it's the left negator in conjunctions. So it kind of looks like na here comes after e, so it is not true that. There's also um, tohe, which basically means anti. So if we go back to here, I'm not sure I can put na in there. Yeah, I think this is uh, this is really uh, what it is. So na pretty much negates the entire breedy. So here's the breedy. Um, the breedy would be uh, that the whole is repellent. Na would negate that, so the whole is not repellent. It, it could be something else, but it's certainly not repellent. Um, and the whole is not unclean. And the whole is not wet. Uh, so it's not any of these, actually. And you get that, you can actually get that from De Morgan's rule, where, you know, basically, if you're saying, you know, something like not A and not B, then that means that not A or B. In other words, if, in other words, A cannot be true and B cannot be true, which is really the same thing as saying not A and not B. So anyway, um, so that's not bad. Um, I guess let's continue. Uh, filled with the ends of worms. Okay, so it was not, so the hole was not filled with the ends of worms. So that's kind of the, let me put an E in front of here to separate from the previous breedy. So let's, let's uh, just write this like we're four years old. Um, the hole was not. Now we need a word for filled. So is there a word for fill? Fill? Yeah. Tisna. Fi okay, so x1 fills with material x2. Um, oh, look at this. Here we go. Shulno. x1 is full or completely filled with x2. So it's not filled with x2. Okay, so what are the ends of worms? Um, well, it's going to be low. Uh, worm ends? Uh, worm type ends? Uh, so that would be a tanru, right? So when we need worm, worm, okay, sure new. There we go worm type and now ends. So what's an end? Um, an end finished termination of a thing or a process. Okay, that's possible. Um, this is a verb meaning to stop. That's not it. Stop process, no, no, no. So um, X1 is a tip. Um, so fanmo or jipno? Um, I think, I think probably fanmo is kind of more like it, so fanmo. All right, so there we go. The hole is not filled with the ends of worms. Um, so now we can just add that by just combining with gihe and making that a breedy tail. Gihe. Uh, So there 
There we go. Nashulno, Loshurnu, Fanmo. Now, one thing that I like to do is just sort of take what I've translated and pass it into the parser, just to make sure that I'm not just you know going down the wrong path. So it parses, which is which is great. And you know, I just sort of I use prettified minus minus fm. Um, so na rigni, we can see that na is associated with rigni, which rigni, rigni, which is good. Um, so it means that we're negating specifically rigni. Na tohe jinsa, so tohe is associated with jinsa, and then we're negating that. So that's good. Gihe seems to apply to this entire phrase. Gihe applies to this entire phrase. And Gihe applies to this entire phrase. Nashulno and lo shurnu fanmo. So this is properly uh, formed as a tanru. And lo shurnu fanmo is one sumti, and that applies to shulno. So it looks pretty good according to the parser. Um, and an oozy smell. So the hole was not filled with an oozy smell. Okay, so let's say E, and then we can do ka, not shulno, not filled with, okay, an oozy smell. Um, if it were just a smell, it would be low, low smell. So what's a, maybe odor. An odor. How about a stench? Is there no stench? Well, no, of course not. Um, it's going to be an odor. It's probably a bad odor, right? Um, is Selpanchi is an odorous with odor X2 with smell odor X3? That makes no sense at all to me. Um, se basically means you swap x2 with x1 of panchi. Um, so this would actually be x2 um, is a smell emitter um, with odor x2 detected by observer x3. That, that's what that really is supposed to mean. So an odorous, I think an odorous item I think is what they meant to say. But in any case, um, the hole was not filled with an odor. Sure. Lopanchi. And now, of course, it has to be an oozy odor. And of course, there's not going to be oozy in here. I mean, that, that just wouldn't make any sense. Is, is there even ooze? No, so we're going to have to look up a synonym, right? What is oozy? Um, clammy, mucky, that's muddy, muddy. That, that kind of fits what, what we're going for here because a hole in, basically we're saying that the hole in the ground doesn't have a smell of like, you know, awful mud. So is there mud? There is. Uh, der Peschu, D1 is a quantity of mud. That works pretty well. So Der Peschu, Der Peschu. Uh, oops, put this over here. That is it now a Tanru, meaning mud smell. So a mud type smell. I guess that would mean an oozy smell. Um, oozy. Ooze is basically, you know, kind of like flowing, but I think really, you know, maybe mud is flowing kind of. Um, when I think of ooze, I kind of think of like a thick, disgusting mass, and that, that's kind of what mud is. Um, so I think that's fine. Um, let's just tack it on. Okay. Um, it is kind of unfortunate that uh, here we have shulno and we've got shulno repeated. Really, uh, why don't we simply use a sumti connector to uh, form, uh, I guess, an and of lo shurnu fan, fanmo and lo der peschu panchi. So that would be eh. 
Now, I need to make sure that I have my connector right because na here applies to this entire thing, right? So what we're saying is not a and b. And remember, what we really wanted to say was not a or b because that is the same as saying not a and not b. In other words, neither a nor b. So what this is saying is that um, a and b are not true simultaneously. One of them could be true. So I don't want a. In fact, I want a, which is or. So that's this right over here. So I guess literally what I'm saying is he here is um, that the hole is not filled with um, either the ends of worms or an oozy smell or both. So, so that's kind of nice. Um, so that is, uh, that is how I break that up. And I think that's pretty good. Let's, uh, let's start a new sentence. And, okay, so nor yet a dry, bare, sandy hole with nothing to sit in it and blah, 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 blah. So what we're saying is here, again, it is not, the hole was not dry. All right, so we can start doing the same thing. Na. Okay, so what's dry? Dry. Uh, sudga. Uh, any other sense of dry? Nope. Sure. Arid, dry. Um, sandy. Oh, well, it, it's already got sandy in here. So dry. Sudga. Sudga. Okay, and I think we're pretty safe in just tacking on gihenna. And now we need something like uh, bare. So what is bare? Basically means devoid of anything. Uh, X1 is bare or naked or nude uh, without cover or clothes or protection. I do not think that that is the sense of bare. Um, well, I did say empty, right? Okay, empty, kunti, it's empty, it's hollow, it's got nothing in it. So kunti, gihena kunti, um, and it's not bare or empty. Gihena, now sandy, is there a sandy? Well, there's a sandy abrasive material. Um, and there is a, a quantity of is made of sand. Oh, that works, right? Shanre. So in other words, it's not made of sand. It's just not sandy. Shanre. Okay. That works. So the hole is not dry and not bare and not sandy with nothing in it to sit down on. Okay, so the hole had, did not have nothing in it to sit down on. Okay, this is, this is uh, definitely a more complicated sentence here. So um, the hole did not have, well, we know, we know how we're going to do that. So um, it has nothing in it to sit down on. This is this is really the, the structure that we're going to go for. And then, of course, we're going to tack on na. Um, so it has nothing in it to sit down on. So let's just take a look at sit. OK, so there is sit. Um, there's to sit. Uh, stizu is a chair. Uh, a piece or a portion of a piece of furniture intended for sitting. I think that's really the sense that that Tolkien is going for here. Um, you know, I don't think he's saying, well, there were no rocks in it. Um, I think, um, you know, or to eat. I mean, he's not talking about like, you know, worms to eat. 
but you know more like comfortable things i think so so i think stizu is is something we want something to do with stizu so it has no uh no stizu um so okay so what does it mean to have a a have something to sit down on so has well okay so there's has a chair you know again that that's kind of like or has chairs or sitting furnitures right again this this would be writing as if we were four years old right so ku shu um has chairs so na oh ka shu na um the hole has no or the hole had had uh hmm no as in zero has like zero chairs it did not have nah um i don't know what have is yet um but zero chairs is no that's the number zero uh law stizu okay so what does have contain probably because a hole would contain something so contain see what we've got sure includes contents that works Vasru. So Navasru. No Lostizu. So what does this mean? The hole uh, did not contain zero chairs. It did not contain zero chairs. It's kind of a funny way of putting it, but. Um, So is there some other thing that we can do? Because really what I want is, you know, to sit down on, right? Because um, no, it has no thing in it. So we know what in it is, right? Vasru contains to sit down on. no thing in it to sit down on now when you're creating an infinitive like that um so to sit down would be la nu um, and what is what is the verb what is the gizmu for sit zutze zutze so this is to sit basically um, and of course it would mean to sit on right because you sit on something zutze you sit on something um, So here, um, I kind of remembered that there was some word for purpose. There isn't actually a word for purpose, but pilno is basically about like kind of like tool use or something. Um, so x1 uses x2 for purpose x3. And what I'm thinking is no thing, no thing for the purpose of sitting upon, right? So if we can have for the purpose of as sort of like a modal tag, then we can just say, you know, to sit on. Uh, and here's a nice example. Uh, the girl used a computer to get the necessary information. Uh, so unfortunately, this modifies uh, the celebrity. So here, um, It's piho, piho. 
Is there a Tapiho? No, there isn't any. Well, that's unfortunate because Tapiho would would basically mean um, a tool usage for purpose. So I don't think I'm going to be able to use a modal tag because again, modal tags apply to Selbri, not Sumti. But uh, there is the uh, ever useful Poi, which is. So, you know, perhaps I can use something like, well, first of all, Dashti is a thing, right? So Dashti is, you know, X1 is a thing. And then maybe I can say dashti poi, a thing which, um, and then has as purpose. So let's see where where is pilno. A thing which has as purpose. So that would be te pilno. A thing which is used for. Uh, no, that's not what I mean. Because it's a thing. X2 is the tool, so se pilno. But then again, I, I again I need this purpose here. So um sell plea. Yeah. For reordered places. Let's see what that is. X1 is used by X2 for purpose X3. Again. Not quite what I'm going for. Um, see, the problem is that no matter how I reorder this, I really want a tool for purpose X3, right? X. What I want is X1 is a tool for purpose X, X2. So is there like a tool? Well, there we go. Uh, how about this? X1 is a whatever, used for doing x2. Well, strictly speaking, a chair is not used for sitting, right? You're the one that's sitting on it. Um, but let's go with it and see what we come up with, maybe? So, dashti poi uh, tuchi So now we have a thing which is a tool for doing x2. So we need an action uh, or one of these phrases. And that's just that just means to sit on for for sitting upon. A thing which is used for sitting upon. Uh, unfortunately, I, I I really don't like it. I, I don't like the fact that you know it's it's saying like you know a hammer is for um, hanging pictures. It, it it's not you know that that's really not it. Um, you sit on a a chair. Um, well, maybe maybe I can use a tanru. Right? Because zutsa means sit. Dashti is thing, right? So, so zutsa dashti is a sitting thing. Um, it could mean a thing that is sitting, but, you know, it could also mean a thing that you're sitting on. Um, you know, in which case, uh, no lo zutsa dashti would kind of mean, you know, no... Uh, sit type thing, so no thing to sit down on. Um, it's better. It's better. Let me think if I can come up with something else. Okay, I don't really know why I didn't find this before, but Cosmu um, seems reasonable. X1, which is basically a, 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 a new, la new, an abstraction, um, is a purpose use of x2. So if I want to say a thing for sitting on, then I guess I would say um, 
So cosmu. So se cosmu would be uh, the object with purpose x1, right? So se cosmu, se cosmu is x1 is an object with purpose x2. Or x1 has purpose x2, where x1 is a thing or uh, what else was it? A thing or an event. And this is an abstraction. Abstraction basically meaning something with la nu in it, so to sit on. So really what I want is uh, dashti, x1 is a thing. Um, no. Uh, I, I, hmm. I think I could just say la se cosmu, you know, which, which just means a thing with a purpose. Now, because this is a sumpty, I'm going to have to say be in order to attach another sumpty to it. So be lonuzutse. So literally what this means is um, thing, thing with the purpose of sitting. I think this is really, really close to what I want. Um, and of course, if I say no, it means no thing for the purpose of sitting. And I guess that would do it. So, uh, so uh, let's get rid of this. So the whole uh, had no Vasru, what was Vasru again? Uh, did not contain, so was devoid of. Um, the whole was not. Oh, yeah, that's not what I wanted, was it? The problem is that I've got pretty much a double negative here, right? Vasru means contains, and what I want to say, it does not not contain. <laughs> Um, it did not, oh, well, no, I, I have no in here, so I have no in here, so it does not contain zero of these things. Okay, so the whole does not contain zero things, zero things, no, I think I have to do that, zero of things with purpose to sit on. Okay, that's, uh, that, that kind of does it. Um, or to eat, or to eat. So things for the purpose of, well, this is nice because now what we want to do is we want to connect this uh, long new and then eat, with, which I think is sija, but I'm not sure. No, sija is food. Let's eat. Shitka. 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 So what do I want here? Um, with nothing in it. For sitting on. Or for eating. So ah. Uh, something like that maybe. So let's go ahead and plug this into the parser and see how the grouping happens. Okay, so ku navasru, great, no, great, so that's none of these things. Lo se kosmu be, lo nuzutse a, and then these things. So be applies to all of this, which I wanted to make sure. I, I wanted to make sure that ah didn't like um, break out of be. Uh, so I think that's pretty, pretty good. 
So what I'm saying here is that ka, the whole, is not, does not, did not, contain zero of things for the purpose of sitting or eating. Okay, so that is pretty good. Okay, and then we have this colon, and uh, it said um, it was a hobbit hole, and that means comfort. Well, hobbit hole, we know that that's going to be a, um, a, a tonru because it's a hobbit type hole. So that would be reader hobby kevna. Lo reader hobby kevna, hobbit hole. So the hole. was a hobbit type hole. Now with the colon, uh, really what we're doing is we're pointing out a contrast. And uh, we saw in the last video that however is kuhi. So we want to put kuhi in here. However, the hole, or in contrast, but in contrast, the hole was a hobbit hole. And that means comfort. So what we want here is a um, is a causal structure. Uh, and we went over uh, cause and effect. So this is the cause of the effect that it was comfortable. So um, we could do, is it? What's a reha? Is it reha? So this is uh, physical or mental. Um, and then there's, uh, I think, ku oh, kuhi I already did. Uh, kiha, I think? No, that's not it. Let me look it up. Um, well, OK, here. Let's just look up reason. Uh, krinu, that's kihu is a reason, justification, or explanation, right? So kihu, which comes from krinu, justifiably, because of reason. So um, that's interesting, after all. OK, so kihu means because of reasoning. So it was a hobbit hole. Uh, we don't want. It was a hobbit hole because it was comfort comfortable. We want it was comfortable because it was a hobbit hole. So se will uh, will sort of invert cause and effect. So e se kihu bo bo is required to separate kihu uh, from the rest of the sentence. It, it basically says that kihu now sort of applies to this part and to this part. So so the so the previous statement is the cause, and the effect is that it was comfortable. Comfortable. OK. Uh, it doesn't feel comfort. It is comfortable. Um, makes x2 comfortable about. I really don't like this because for something to feel comfort, it, it, it's basically a subjective um, experience. Uh, is comfortable with, okay, so this is also a subjective experience. Um, what we're really going for is it causes comfort. So, I mean, this would be great, it makes everyone comfortable. Um, so kufagao is probably pretty good. Therefore, it makes, how about everyone comfortable? Isekihubo ka shu kufagao, kufagao, ro. Ro just means all. Not reader, Kobe. Raw. Um, I 
think just raw alone means all. So let's go ahead and plug that in because I'm not sure. Nope, doesn't like it. So it's not raw. Ah, and even this doesn't work. Um, oh, yeah, okay. Cause, yeah, it, I think it was because of Bo. Bo needs an E, so it needs a sentence before it. So Kufagao roll. Okay, that's not going to work. Um, everyone? No. Uh, well, all persons, right? Raw prenu. Raw prenu. Or even raw law prenu. All persons. Uh, so maybe that is what I need here. Raw law prenu. separate that over here. So in contrast, the whole was a hobbit hole. Therefore, the whole uh, makes all persons comfortable. So I think that's reasonable. So unfortunately, I did have to break it into uh, f basically five sentences. Uh, I may be able to change this to maybe just this. Sekihu. Um, now, Sekihu takes, what does it take? Does it take a breedy? Um, it takes an abstraction, so I think law nu. Uh, um, so what this means here, so seki who means uh, with reason, uh, with with cause, uh, and then you give it an entire, uh, um, you give it an entire. Do you give it an abstraction or a breedy? Now I can't remember. Yeah, I plugged it into the parser, and of course it doesn't parse unless you say law nu. So it basically takes a, an abstraction, I guess. So um, so basically what we're saying is here is um, that it causes uh, the event that the whole makes everyone comfortable. Do I need this here, or can I leave it out like this? So in other words, um, does the x1 position here necessarily, is it necessarily the same as the x1 position here? I'm going to have to research that one. And I think the answer is no. You really do have to specify x1. Um, because lonu does not take a breedy tail, it takes an entire breedy. So lonu ka shu kufagao ronu ra lo prenu means effectively um, that the tunnel tunnel the the hole is giving comfort to everyone so there we go four sentences to make the f the second sentence of the hobbit now it's it's rather longer and i once had a theory that um sort of the the at the utterance the length of an utterance, the, the amount of time that an utterance takes in any language to state 
some concept is is constant. <laughs> um, you know, if if you just you know get it down to its bare minimum, you know, you don't use flowery flowery um, music, and that's my sort of cockamimi reasoning for why Spanish to my ears sounds so fast and quick. Uh, it's because you have to get in uh, a lot more syllables in the same amount of time in order to express the same thing that you would in English. Now, that could totally be completely untrue. I don't know. Um, I'm not an, a linguist, so, um, you know, it, it's possible that, you know, this stuff can get spoken in the same amount of time as this stuff does. Now, the other thing is that um, Tolkien, you know, was an author. I mean, he, he wrote very well. Uh, I am not an author, so, you know, I would not be able to make, uh, to put together a sentence like this if I wanted to say exactly that, even in English. Um, so I would certainly not be able to get the same, um, you know, the same emotions and intensity and emphasis of the English, um, the same senses as the English. So, um, I would love to get rid of ka, but I don't think I can because each sentence, um, each sentence, uh, has to has to have a, a breedy, and the, the breedy has to have an X1. Um, I suppose that um, I could connect breedy tails. Uh, that would allow me to just get rid of this part, right, in the same way as this part. Uh, but the problem is that in the English, you know, we've got We've got commas as separators. Um, that could mean maybe that I could use a forethought, but unfortunately there's no forethought connector for breedy tails. There's only afterthought connectors, so I, I just can't do that. So I think I'm just probably gonna leave it here like this. And if anybody has uh, any other ideas that, that uh, you know maybe I should have tried, uh, leave it in the comments. Um, I am going to really go out on a limb and uh, open myself up to criticism by uh, putting this sentence into one of the live chats for, for the Lojban language and, uh, you know, just hoping that uh, somebody recognizes it and, uh, and uh, ha has something constructive to say about it. Um, I know that when I've put in some simple sentences into uh, the Lojban chat, uh, I have gotten corrections. And don't get me wrong, I've learned from them, but it was a little bit depressing. So I'll, I'll see what happens and, you know, hope for the best. So anyway, I guess that's about all I wanted to, to do in this video is just translate this one sentence. Um, if you like that, um, well, give it a like, obviously. Um, if you don't like it, give it a dislike. Uh, it's all, it's all uh, impressions. Um, but obviously I'd like more likes than dislikes. Um, and if you're really interested, you know, please let me know that you'd like me to continue uh, trying to translate some of these sentences from The Hobbit. Um, the next sentences are also fairly long, I think. Um, it goes on and on about like describing the the tunnel and the hallway and the doors that are on it and well it describes the the front door that it has a little shiny brass knob and a round window like a porthole and and the tunnel goes into the into the hill and it's got you know lots of peg holes and it's got lots of doors opening out onto kitchens and pantries and you know all that stuff uh, it just goes on and on and on so that that might be kind of fun to to translate um, I kind of like the fact that the first sentence is approximately the same length as the as the as the first sentence in English. Um, not so much uh, the second set of sentences, uh, but okay, that's fine. I'll I'll take it. Um, anyway, I guess that's about it. So thanks for watching. I hope you had kind of a an entertaining time, and I will see you on the next video. 
And I did spot one issue here, which is, remember that I said that k refers to the previous sumpty that started with k. So I do have to scan to see if I have anything starting with k, and I do. Um, although this is not a sumpty, so I can continue. Uh, this is a sumpty, though. So I think, unfortunately, that means that I need to take this k and change it to Lekevna. And let's see. And this k uh, refers to this Kevna, which is fine. OK, now I think it's good. And uh, when I did uh, give this to the chat, uh, one suggestion did come up, which I kind of like, um, is that Shurnu Fanmo, worm ends, should probably be using Gypno. Um, so before I was looking at Gypno and I decided to go with Fanmo. Um, and it turns out that Fanmo is more like the last part of something, whereas uh, Gypno is just, you know, a tip or a point. Um, and if we look at uh, this page here in lojban.org, there is a lot of um, interesting example sentences for a lot of Gizmu. And Fanmo does seem to indicate that this is like the final part or the, the ending, not an end as in, you know, the last thing. So... I think I'm just going to change Fanmo to Gypno, and now we'll call it done.